What's Your Story, Jamaica? Written by Marcus Bird It was the look in my father's eyes that almost broke me, said Andre Simpson in the final section of his story. During his last semester of university in the United States, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Andre was incarcerated for six years before being deported back to Jamaica. Streaks of sweat from the heat of the stage lights appeared to be tears, a fitting compliment to his somber tale. Andre was one of nine storytelling finalists chosen to perform in the inaugural What's Your Story Jamaica competition, held on February 13 at the Pages in the Gardens restaurant in Hope Gardens. The elegant affair was organized by award-winning playwright and actress Deborah Earhart and Dr. Basil Kong, attorney, author and philanthropist. The purpose of this competition is to give more creatives a platform to be seen and heard, Deborah stated. Telling stories takes a certain skill set, and we had to really search for the best storytellers in Jamaica, Dr. Kong chimed in. Originally from Woodlands, St. Elizabeth, Dr. Kong said he believed in giving back and that competitions like these bring both artists and the country itself to the forefront. Stories are inherently fascinating and relatable, even if we have not experienced them. We have all been the man or woman riddled with the regret of a bad decision, the lone traveler stranded in an unfamiliar place and the child who wanted an impossible gift. Producer Deborah Earhart opened this inaugural event with Michael Manley and the Monkey, a regaling tale from her own childhood with a powerful lesson about chasing your goals and not letting anyone tell you that your dream is too big. From hundreds of applicants, nine were discerningly selected. They were, Makeda Solomon, Andre Simpson, Nadine McNeil, Dwayne Harris, Steve Urchin Wilson, David Brown, Yolandi Bramwell, Marcus Bird and Owen Blacker Ellis. Their entries ran the gamut of human experience. A thrilling account from music executive Steve Urchin Wilson, One Glorious Night in the Indian Ocean, took us across the seas and into his precarious experience of being threatened by a mob boss in Mauritius. Marcus Bird's entry, The Egyptian Hustle, dramatically depicts the humorous and vibrant multi-character roller coaster of his experience being hustled at the airport upon his first visit to Cairo, Egypt. Makeda Solomon's reincarnation spoke of the ebb and flow of human existence, how love heals every heart that it breaks. While her beloved brother's life came to an abrupt and heartbreaking end, his spirit and presence seemed to return in the form of a child she was told she would never bear. Though large in stature and powerfully built, Dwayne Harris perfectly communicated the adolescent anguish of his first encounter with a legendary school bully and the fear of a physical thrashing in his story The Bully and the Coward. Yolandi Bramwell's Mud Walk, a physically scintillating account of a child's act of parental defiance, brilliantly captured the fiendishness of childhood naivete and the inevitable dangers that come from such acts of disobedience. David Brown's story, A New Page in My Life, shows the power in guidance through suggestion, how often something we are told, in hindsight, has enormous power in influencing our future actions. Nadine McNeil's, Before the Clock Strikes Twelve, gave the audience the touch of playful feminine wiles and titillating sensuality, as she spoke of her desire to squire a man who had caught her eye on the eve of her pending nuptials. Told at a fast clip filled with thrilling visuals and a booming comedic climax, Owen Blacker Ellis's entry, The Day I Died, recalls his youthful experience in a train derailment and the swift and comical psychological fallout that ensues within his family after they fear him dead. Storytelling is an art form that requires poise, energy, well-crafted communication, pacing, self-awareness, and the skill to clearly translate your personal experience to a virgin audience. On this night, The Chosen Nine delivered. Held in the brooding atmosphere of a dusky Hope Gardens evening, there is no doubt those in attendance will savor memories of watching the Jamaican thespians with rapt attention. The judges were represented by the likes of industry veterans Basil Dawkins, renowned playwright and corporate strategist, Eugene Williams, former head of the Edna Manley School of Art, Faye Ellington, highly decorated actress, performer and producer, and Manuel Goran, a 20-year veteran of Condé Nast who sits on the board of directors of Center Theatre Group in Los Angeles, California. They had hard work to do in choosing a winner, ultimately giving the prize to Owen Blacker Ellis for his story The Day I Died, with Marcus Bird's The Egyptian Hustle coming in second place, 
and Yolandi Bramwell's Mud Walk in third. Jamaica, already renowned for its profusion of artistic talent, may now usher in a compelling set of vibrant orators and performers eager to tell the stories of their lives, one passionate word at a time. Soon there will be many answers to that perennial question, what's your story Jamaica? An event slated to take place annually, 